Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So if you guys have written in and asked me, have I had any videos on dating a narcissistic person? So it took me a little while to get the information to do my research on it. So the next several videos will be about, um, like today I'm going to talk about like the definitions of a narcissist and then some traits that they have. I'll also talk about, um, some of the things that you have to give up if you are dating or in love with a narcissist and then also I'll talk about how to stay happy and or sane uh, so those are just a few things that I will be talking about within the next few days so definitely go ahead and stay tuned these videos are for you at least for several of you Alright family, thank you so much for coming back. So the very first video that I'm going to do today is how to recognize a narcissistic person and then the 10 traits that you'll be introduced to or exposed to while dating them. So the two definitions, I have them here. The first one is a classic narcissist, which is a person who needs to belittle you to bolster a fragile self-esteem. They tolerate differences poorly, are very competitive, and resist giving credit to anyone other than themselves. If you're waiting for a classic narcissist to say, I'm sorry, don't hold your breath. <laughs> to them saying sorry shows weakness. They don't want to destroy you. They just want to be better than you. So that's the first definition, which again is the classic narcissist. Now the second one is actually called the antisocial type or the antisocial uh, narcissist, which is the, the, I guess the medical definition is the path pathological narcissist. And this is the type that is very hostile and sometimes lethal. They need to be in control of themselves and you at all times. Losing control threatens them deeply. Negotiation and compromise, which are the healthy relating tools in a relationship, are not a part of their vocabulary. The antisocial narcissist will never put himself in a situation where he feels vulnerable. So those are just the two definitions and the two types of narcissists. Now move on to some of the traits. I actually have uh, 10 traits that you'll notice in a narcissist. So they're very, very charming to the outside world. That's the first one. Very charming to the outside world. The second one, which uh, is just very selfish, like I said, no compromising for the most part. Most part, They don't want to destroy you. They just want to be in control at all times, not only with themselves, but also with you as well. Very selfish. Uh, the third one is that they have a significant sense of entitlement. We all know about entitlement, so yes, a significant sense of entitlement. The fourth one, needs needs constant compliments and accolades so yeah just all day every day you need to be giving them compliments and telling them how great they are how wonderful they took out the trash all of that little stuff <laughs> all day every day so um the fifth one possesses zero empathy just can't put themselves in your in your shoes in your situation at all so zero empathy uh, the sixth one has fits of rage that are uncontrollable. Now, this one can be very scary. Um, I know someone who's been in, in, in a situation like this with a narcissistic person who wanted to be in control pretty much of her every move. And um, he would go through bouts of rage if she didn't pretty much, pretty much do what he wanted her to do. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the seventh one, he... Um, the seventh one is cast blame and criticism. So again, pretty much nothing good to say to you. Number eight, believes that others are envious or of him or her. So obviously this could be a woman or a man, but they believe that others are envious of them no matter what. Number nine, treats people beneath him with little respect. So just say, for instance, you know, your job, you have some subordinates and you're treating those people with pretty much little respect just because they're beneath you in their job title. So that's another one. And then the final thing is that uh, that they lie and gaslight. And I actually had to look up what gaslight was because I'd never heard of it, which is it makes you doubt yourself and your sanity through manipulation. I've never heard of that terminology. So um 
yeah, these, these are the 10 traits that you will notice in a narcissistic person. Again, this could be a man or a woman. And um, these are some of the things that you just need to understand that if you get into a relationship with them or if you are already in a relationship with a narcissistic person, you can understand them better. Um, I can't say if this is good or bad. This would not be the type of relationship that I would personally want to be in. But we all bring things to the table and a narcissistic person can bring something to the table that um, I might ne not necessarily understand or want for me personally, but we all know that there are narcissistic people out there. They're definitely in relationships with men and women. Um, and, and just to point it out again, they can be, it can be a man or a woman that shows these characteristics and traits. And so just, just think about some of these things. If you are in a relationship with a narcissistic person, is this something that you can see yourself dealing with your entire relationship? And also that, of course, includes if you guys get married, especially if they are the um, pathological narcissistic person, which is the one who could become violent and lethal. Is that something that you want to deal with your entire relationship? So just think about these things. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. Have you ever been in a uh, relationship with a narcissistic person? Are you currently in a relationship with a narcissistic person? Do you see any of these traits in your person, in your partner, in your spouse? Definitely, let's go ahead and, and continue the conversation down below. All right, I will see you guys in a future video, with, which is the next few days to give you the five tips on how to stay sane when dealing with a narcissistic person.